again and I'm going to talk about Wet n Wild really quick. As you guys know I have been raving about Wet n Wild. I love their product. They have evolved and when I say evolved I mean in a major way. Um, when I was younger back in the 90s um, the only thing that Wet n Wild had was a couple of eyeliners, some nail polish and I don't know uh, maybe a little bit of mascara. Uh, to say, nonetheless, they were kind of cheesy, and they appealed to a very younger crowd. Um, Wet n Wild is one of those brands um, that is very inexpensive, and it is very good for teenage girls who are trying to learn how to do their makeup. But I have not been able to stay away from them. They have really stepped their game up. They've come out with something called um, Color Icons. They've come out with palettes of six that have matte and shimmer. I'm just going to show you some of the palettes that I've been sucked into and I'm going to show you a quick application on one as well. So the first one that I am going to show you is called Spoiled Brat. And it is very beautiful on the pink, the black, and the gray. I would have never thought to put these together, but absolutely gorgeous. And when I say color icon, they have this on the back. Just a quick description of how to put it on. And then they have Don't Steal My Thunder which I absolutely love. And this is just the black, the silver, and the white at the top. Creates a beautiful eye. And this is not a color icon. Um, it didn't have the color icon stamp on the back. But nonetheless, very, very cute. This is my favorite of all the palettes. I Dream of Jeannie. I bought this one when I was looking for a color that I thought would be comparable for St. Patty's Day. Love it. Gorgeous. Great pigment. Easy application. Just gorgeous. And then they've been doing the palettes of six. And this is where they do the shimmer on one side and the matte tail on the other. And it is very, very cute. And the reason I actually um, got hooked on Wet n Wild is I saw a palette in Sephora's, which is my favorite store. Um, I am a benefit makeup girl. I like that stuff. Um, I only wear it every once in a while. I'm looking for that high um, polished look but I go in and nonetheless and I look and see what they have and kind of find out you know do I have this do I have that kind of get some ideas going um take my iPhone snap a picture of something that I like see if I can find it for less but this is beautifully inexpensive um and anywho they had a palette that I saw it was a Dior palette and I looked at the price and I said that is not eighty dollars the palette was eighty freaking dollars now some of you guys may be ballers but you know what? The very last thing I'm going to do is spend $80 on a palette. There is no freaking way. Um, I just won't do it. I just will not do it. And I encourage you not to do it either. Because if you can get that palette or get the picture of the palette and go see it up close and see what kind of variation or color they have in that palette, you can go down to CVS, you can go to Rite Aid, you can go to Walgreens, you can go to other um, alternative makeup spots. You can go online. You can go to walmart.com and go to their beauty section and you can find all this neat stuff. Um, and you can get the same thing. So I got hooked and this is the palette that I actually got hooked on. And this is called Vanity. And on one side it has the matte and the other side is very highly pigmented. It has that silver fleck in it. And this is the actual ad I saw. I found it. I'm going to show you this. Okay, as you can see, it's $80. And they want $80 for the case, which is a cute case. It has two, um, how can I say it, two um, glosses, and then the bottom three are shadows. So you want me to pay $80 for a case, shadows, and two lip glosses? You're killing me. I won't do it. You better not do it either. And then they also had Wet n Wild had 247 Pride, which is very nice. Green and blues, and surprisingly, green and blues can be very beautiful. 
The next one um, is 248 and it's called Lust. The purple smoky eye is in for the summer. Um, Adele rocked it and I actually picked up this um, palette to try it and it came out wonderfully. And the next thing that I absolutely love um, is 246 Greed. And the reason I like this palette is because I was looking for some very soft colors that I could wear with a red lip because when you're doing a red lip, your makeup should be very minimal. And these worked out wonderfully. Um, and the last ones I'm going to show you are the Eye Sparkle palettes. And these are absolutely gorgeous. These are the textured picture palettes that many people are doing now. And see that? This one right here is gorgeous. Um, I love this one, and I have an idea for an eye. Um, the blues and the browns are gorgeous, and they're great contrasting colors. Then you have um, the purple, the black, and the white, and the silver. Always, always beautiful. And then the next one is a very earth tonish color that is absolutely gorgeous as well. So there you have it. None of these palettes were more than $5. None of them. And like I said before, I encourage you not to blow your money on makeup because believe it or not, women can spend thousands of dollars to um, buy makeup. And the funny thing about it is they do it almost every year. They are not being thrifty with their money. And it's cool to spend thousands of dollars in makeup if that's what you're into. But I suggest you slash your budget and be creative. Find out what you like. Um, do CVS Extra Bucks. Do Walgreens. Do Rite Aid. Order your makeup online. You'd be surprised. Um, there's also another site called EyesLipsAndFace.com. They are great. They have some wonderful products. Try it out. Buy one, get one free. Um, I think it's called uh, Physician's Formula. They have some really cute stuff if you are hypoallergenic. And the Neutrogena and the Alme give you very good looks as well for people who are sensitive or have very sensitive skin. Sorry, my nose is itching. And I'm going to do a really quick eye for you. And I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to blow my camera up or bring myself in some so you can kind of see okay sorry guys my face is so itchy I'm just gonna go ahead and put my um, stuff on my stuff on my base my primer and I'm gonna do this really really quick just so you can see how beautiful it is how vivacious it is absolutely gorgeous on Okay, so I've already primed my eye. I'm just going to put this on really quick. I'm going to bring it in just a little more. Okay, so you guys can actually see my eyes. I can't see my lips moving too much, but you can see my eyes. So I'm just going to do this really, really quick, fast. Um, we're going to put the, let me show you the palette one more time. Okay, so we're going to put the light green on the bottom of the lid and it is gorgeous when I say gorgeous gorgeous I'm just gonna pat it and blend it into the consistency that I'm looking for and I encourage you to pat your makeup on because it lasts longer. So you go ahead and you pat it on until you get the consistency that you're looking for. You guys know how I feel about my eyes. I always do the wing look to the corner. Always gets done. But I never go out further than my eyebrow. You want to keep it all consistent. And there we go as far as the green. Then we're going to put that other green in, the darker green, just to make it fun. See that? Just to give it some contrast, just to make it fun. And we can always go back in and touch it up if the pigmentation um, is not coming out the way that you would like. Like I'll probably have to go in and do my lime green a little more. But nonetheless, it is still gorgeous. 
And then we're going to do the light in the brow bone. So we're going to just do this right here. It is so pretty. You cannot believe how pretty green is. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And my lights do not do it justice on how beautiful. I'm putting some more of the light green in. Sorry about that. How beautiful it is as far as the contrast of the colors. And like I say all the time, blend, blend, blend. You want your colors to come together seamlessly. And look at that. That is so freaking gorgeous. And this is just very concentrated color. Look at that. You cannot beat it. It is so freaking gorgeous. And we'll do the other eye just for fun. We'll do a consistent look. How about that? Oh, man. Let's see. You guys see that? I'm just working on this other eye. Really quick. And I forgot to put my shadow primer on, so it might be a little dull. But you know what? We'll just go ahead and keep going forward. We're going to achieve the purpose. Just to show you how beautiful and pretty it is. And this green that I'm applying on now, if you have a purple um, palette, try it with purple. It is beautiful. I used this color when I did my purple palette. Sorry, that was my cat shaking my... She is a mess. She's so needy in the morning. Sorry about that. Put that green in to get the desired consistency. Okay. And touch that corner up just a little. Then we're going to put the light in the brow bone, of course. See that? And then, like I always say, we are going to blend. We want our colors to come together seamlessly. Put some more of that light green down right here. But we are done. Let me bring my camera down some. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. Green eyes interesting this is great for a fun date a fun night um, just a playful weekend look absolutely gorgeous and that palette was only $2.99 leave the Dior alone leave the Chanel alone leave the Yves Saint Laurent alone leave the Mac alone get you something that just is comparable not saying that these brands are not good they are good if you want to spend that kind of money that is fine, but if you look often enough and you know where to look at, you can find things that are just as beautiful. And that's what we're doing here at Inexpensive Beauty. I'm not knocking the other brands. I'm not saying that they're not good. They're great brands. You like Urban Decay Primer Potion, it's 18 bucks, you buy it. You like MAC, their palettes are, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks, you buy it. If you like Dior, the palette is 80 bucks, you buy it. But if you wanna be smart, look good and still have money to save or vacation or do fun things with, take a picture of the palette or get a picture of the palette. Take it to CVS, Walgreens, um, Rite Aid, any of those places where you can find great makeup and find those colors. Right now, like CoverGirl and um, Wet n Wild and I mean all these people, Alme, they are stepping their game up. Get you a palette. This is just as beautiful, but as inexpensive. And once again, this is Nikki and Mohawk Maiden. And like I always say, it is okay to be beautiful, but how are you going to do it? You're going to do it inexpensively. And one more time, did you know that women spend almost two to three thousand dollars on makeup? Splice your budget in half. Slice it and take and go on a vacation with your girls. Go buy a fabulous pair of shoes. Do not blow all your money on makeup. And like I say, I'm glad you guys came. Hope to see you back. Check out the green eyes. I'm going to post pictures after. And you guys have a good night. Bye.